What is a muon? A muon is a subatomic particle and very similar to an electron. However, a muon is 207 times heavier than an electron and has only a mean lifetime of 2.2 microseconds. So where are the muons? One place where we can find them is in the Earth's upper atmosphere. So follow me. Okay, here we are, let's start. Cosmic rays, which are mostly high energy protons, collide with molecules in the upper atmosphere and one of the byproducts of these collisions are muons. Now the question is, can we detect muons on the ground? When we calculate it with normal velocity equation, the answer is no. Hmm, let's check it. Now we are going to be the cloud chamber. A cloud chamber is a very simple particle detector. We previously calculated that no moons will ever reach the ground. As a result, in this cloud chamber there will be any evidence of a moon, right? To explain this, we need Einstein's special theory of relativity. To be more precisely, time dilation and length contraction. To start, we have to make a few things clear, because otherwise it's going to be a bit weird. Whoa. In fact, there are two frames of reference. It's like a coin. On the one side, you and I, we are stationary with observers on Earth. As a result, we will conclude that the moon is traveling towards the Earth and us. In the second case, we are stationary observers on the moon. Now, the Earth is traveling towards the moon. Okay, here's an example. Let's say that I represent the Earth and the base is a moon. Remember, we are in the Earth's reference frame, so I will be stationary. We calculated that this will happen. The ball will never reach me. However, this is not correct. The problem is that the moon travels very fast. There is a speed of light, which is a constant. We know that nothing can be faster as light. As a result, time has to change. In other words, this happens. The moon travels a longer distance because time slows down and that we call time dilation. Oh. How can it be that time slows down and everything stays okay? The answer is length contraction. For this we have to change the reference frame. So we are now traveling with the moon and we will observe that his mean lifetime stays 2.2 microseconds because now he is stationary and the earth is traveling very fast towards it. As a result, time doesn't change in this case, but the distance. In fact, the total length that the moon perceived is going to be a lot shorter so that it agrees with his mean lifetime. And that's because of these two relativistic concepts that we can detect moon on the ground. We are at the end of our journey. So now it's your turn to discover the universe.